Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today's episode number 55. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we are here for semi-pro now. Uh, we've completed all of the events now in Amateur Cup and Manufacturer Club, so... Semi-Pro is next, and we've only got one event to do for now. We'll obviously come back to level 40 in a bit. Carrying on with level 35, we've got up to 600 horsepower. Rizzi Competizione, 600 horsepower Invitational. Opponents are stuff like the Ferrari F50, Selena 7, cars like that. Uh, definitely not looking forward to this final one, to be honest, the 700 horsepower. But let's get on with the 600 horsepower. We're taking a HKS Evolution from Mitsubishi, starting off with Miguelo, moving on to Maple Valley, Laguna Seca, and finishing off with Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Starting off in Miguelo, we got the lovely HKS Evolution. Holy fuck, Knuckles, that launch is impressive. Wow. But, I will admit, there is... Zero top speed with this thing. Yeah, so top speed isn't ideal. But uh, acceleration is where this thing is going to make it up. So, corner's good, straight's bad. Basically, long story short. This is a tune. End of argument. Vibe. Guaranteed vibe. Okay, so lap time isn't too bad, but obviously, like, as soon as we hit 220, it's pretty much just tailed off. There's no acceleration whatsoever. I mean, look at that, we're maxed out at 260. Which 150, 160 miles an hour, pretty much. But again, I assume that's something to do with gear ratios. But then again, there's not really much you can do gear ratios wise because there's only five gears. Do 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 do. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Ding, ding, Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun 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 Not too bad actually uh, driving this car. There are obviously better cars I've driven in this game. But at least this is better than the TVR. The only thing is the TVR has the top speed and the acceleration on this car, so yeah, that thing's basically better. But no steering capabilities. Cornering is much, much slower. This thing has clearly way too much downforce. Probably why it's amazing at cornering, because it's just stuck like glue. Yo, lasagna with a rate of 13. Whoa. Play with my penis. <laughs> Lasagna! Thank you so much for that raid! What I'm gonna do without you? <laughs> Lasagna, thank you for the raid of 13. Legend. Welcome everyone. Uh, for anyone who's come from uh, Lasagna's stream. Hi, my name is Mechanic CG. I'm a racing game YouTuber and Twitch streamer. I do some other things here and there, but pretty much racing game focused. Uh, and yeah, we're uh, currently recording for YouTube at the moment for the Forza Mega Series that I'm doing at the moment. Playing through every single Forza. So yeah, if you're a fan of Forza, feel free to uh, drop a follow. <laughs> Speaking of follows, Gold Deadpool. I think that's how you say that. Thank you very much for the follow, my dude. Also, yeah, I greatly appreciate it, Lasagna. Oh, Jesus. I've lost it. Thank you very much for that follow. Yeah, thank you so much for that raid, Lasagna. And also, uh... Can I get a hi? Yeah? There you go, glitch. <laughs> Bloody hell. Madness! My uh, touch portal still thinks that we've only got two viewers, though. Numbers do not want to update today, apparently. Uh, I will find out what the... Uh, I don't know. Twitch is just not updated. Strange. <laughs> yes, that is a great idea. Let's keep attacking the simp boss. Get rid of the simp boss. We don't need it anymore. At some point, we're going to dethrone Sir Fallen. And it is going to be a marvellous milestone <laughs> for us. Oh, look, we dethroned Sir Fallen. That's going to be a, a day to remember. Holy shit, 12 people. That is crazy. Well, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. How was your stream, by the way, Lasagna? What were you, uh, what were you doing? What were you streaming? This thing's so slow on these straights. It's unreal. Stream went amazing. Good to hear, good to hear. Marvel's Avengers. I've not played that yet. I've heard it's it's pretty good, um, but it had an extremely rocky start with a lot of stuff, especially the PS5 version. Apparently, I, I don't know whether it was Marvel's Avengers or a different Marvel's game, but uh, apparently one of the games uh, just leaked people's IPs the actual PS5 version, so you couldn't actually play the game if you were a Twitch streamer or anything like that. Not that it would have been the end of the world anyways, but it was just like... Not ideal. 
Oh. Because I had that bug for like a couple of days. Because I know one of um. One of my mates that was playing it was like, I can't play this. Selecting characters in the game before missions takes some time, so the tutorial is super long and unnecessary. That's fair enough. Um, I sort of am not a fan of games with long tutorials. Because it can... Um... Oh, look! The bot's, the bot's going to go crazy. It's welcoming everyone. <laughs> that always happens after a raid. That was ten, ten new people. It's crazy. I'm not looking forward to a day when I get like a hundred, a raid of a hundred or something crazy like that, because that bot will go mental. <laughs> I have no clue why the hell the car just started to slide then. That was confusion to the max. <laughs> Fucking lost it. Right on the last lap as well. Completely binned it. Not bad. Across the finish line. I'll take that result. Thank you very much. 31 grand. And by the looks of it, I don't think we got any damage as well, which is good. All right, here we go. Maple Valley, let's get cracking. It's like our little motto here now. Let's get cracking. Boop, 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 might actually make like some merch with let's get cracking on it on the back no i have the logo on the front or maybe i'll have let's get cracking on the front and the back who knows i'll work it out Not bad. This thing flows around this track, which is really surprising because I remember absolutely destroying a race a while ago just through that um, chicane section. Last lap was very close, and I just completely lost control of the car, and three cars came past me. So it's good that this car's stable through there. But it still doesn't excuse how much of a pain in the ass this track can be. But again, this as well, this track 
was is pretty much one of the few tracks. In fact, I think it's the only original Forza track that has been in every Forza game. Which is something. Because I'm going to be quite frankly honest, this is not the best track that Falls has ever made. Ah, oh, bugger. If I was to pick my top three Falls at original tracks, it'd be Alpine Ring in probably second. Sunset Peninsula in first, definitely. That track is just uh, maybe third. I'm not sure. Well, if I was to pick three tracks, it would be Sunset Peninsula, uh, Alpine Ring, and... I don't know, maybe that oval track that's got the really weird tail bit on uh, Motorsport 3 and 4. They added an ov another oval track for that game. I think that would have been a good um, track to have kept for the later Forza games. It's a shame, because they when they remove content... It almost seems like a backwards thing. Like, I understand if they were to have, like, a version of this track that looks like this. For Motorsport 7, for example, it wouldn't look right. But, you know. You would think they'd at least touch it up and just keep doing that for each game. You know, similar to how they've done it with Maple Valley. But do it for more of the original tracks. Keep the heritage in. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Phone wants to tell me that I've got a message and I want to tell my phone to fuck off. <laughs> Caught in the middle of the sun, what we've become. And all we promise is, but I know I'm more. I am found. All I have is all I need to know. Mm Not bad. Two more laps to go. Maple Valley Raceway. That's the one thing that confuses me as well. The fact that this is just called like a raceway. Normally raceways or tracks that are named raceway are fairly... Pretty much like oval tracks with like infields and that oh actually Laguna Seca is the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca 
So. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Makes sense. I am a baboon. I am Jose Mourinho. <laughs> do, 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 do. So yeah, we are two subs away from uh, gifting a sub to the chat. That was aggressive. The way that I went around that corner was just not on. Well, obviously it was good. But, whoo! That got the heart beating. Ah, hello there. Other cars. Oh, look, it's a Ford GT. Lamborghini Diablo. Something else, which I have no clue what it is. Actually, what is that? Is that a Nissan race car? It is. Haha, <laughs> I know my cars. Especially the older ones. God, that makes me feel old. Uh, Alright, here we go. Race number three. Laguna Seca. Bum ba na dum. Bum ba na dum. Bum ba na 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 dum. Bum ba na dum. Bum ba na dum. Bum ba na dum. Bum ba na 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 dum. Ha ha ha! What a tune. I don't know why. I really like um like. 90s techno at the moment. I've got no clue why. Ooh! Just vibes. 90s techno, it just vibes. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Get out of the dirt. This has got to be the uh, Metric Remix, the drum and bass remix, because this sounds 
too fast. Yeah, it's definitely a remix. This is so much faster than the original. I was like, what? This sounds off. Yeah, sub focus metric remix. Makes sense. I'm actually curious, which Evo is this? It looks like an. It's not an Evo 6, so it's probably like an Evo 8. I don't think it's an Evo 9. I still wish... Here's the thing, right? Cars are in the most boring era that they've ever been. Motor vehicles themselves are boring. Now. When you think about it, cars from before... Uh, no, I haven't done arcade mode. I'm not going to because it's not part of the main campaign. So... I'm not going to be doing those modes for uh, most any of the motorsports. Though, to be fair, I think those modes are only available in Motorsport 1, 2, and 4. 4, it was part of, like, the Forza Vista mode or something when they did it. I'm not 100% sure about 3. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't have the intention of uh, going through the arcade mode. But, yeah, cars are just extremely boring at, at the moment. Just because of the fact that... I mean, to be fair, Mitsubishi did a good job ending their Evo lineup the way they did. They made 10 cars over the span of, I believe, 20, 25 years. And all of them were awesome. The entire Evo lineup was just awesome. Same with Subaru. They've done all right with the WRX. They've carried it on for longer, but they've still made an insanely good lineup. Ford, on the other hand, they had the Mustang. They had a really good lineup. And then what did they do? They made the marquee and ruined it. Car. Agreed. I love the part when the Nissan 350Z commits tax evasion. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but uh, I'm not a great fan of the 350Z. Much prefer the 370. And uh, another unpopular opinion. I love the look of the 400Z that they've just announced and put in, like, Gran Turismo. Not bad. I'm not trying to be funny, but I left it all at home today. I left me money at home. Not bad. This is looking really good. You might knock me down, but I will get back up again. Uh, oh, I can't see that on the black screen, because blue on black. That's uh, so lasagna. Uh, heading off to work soon. Have an awesome rest of your stream. Thank you very much, lasagna. And, uh, thank you very much for that um, raid. Thank you very much. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hope that you have a good day at work, man. Hopefully it's not too stressful for you. Uh, and that you have, yeah, have a good day. <laughs> Yeah, that was, a, that was really difficult to read, that. That dark blue on the black background. I think I might have to go into my Twitch settings and change some settings. Readable colors. Oh, that's so much better. I can read it much better. 
There we go. Today's a 14 hour day and then tomorrow's 15, so yeah. Oh Jesus, yeah, that's not good. It's not ideal. But I will get back up again. I don't know why Twitch disabled readable colors, to be honest. <laughs> now I can see it clearly. I've got no problem. I can't imagine doing work for more than eight hours. My brain would just shut down after like two, let alone eight or nine or whatever. This time, this time I ain't gonna run, 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 not this time. Oh no, I've cut the corner, bye bye, there we go, back on track, but apparently that Nissan is in front of us, I think it's the Nissan, yeah it is, by the looks of it this car just has no cornering grip then, going through some of these sharper corners, like it can't hold itself as much, which really surprises me, because muscle cars normally are the cars with the least cornering ability. See, the car sounds are ten times better than FM1. Uh, I had a massive problem. So, FM1, I, I believe it was emulation artifacts. Um, but my car sounds, for about 25% of the cars, just did not exist. So, on multiple occasions, there was just no car sounds. Um, but yeah, the car sounds in FM2 are really crisp in this game compared to FM1. In fact, FM2 was actually a really solid game. And I think 3 and 4 actually did a really good job as well. And then 5 just was like... They just shot something out ready for the Xbox One. Like, just random crap. There wasn't anything good or spectacular. Just rubbish. <laughs> Straight up rubbish. I want your love. I'm getting rid of your uh, breaking marker boards so you can't break anymore. Even though that's not how AI works, but still. I think it should do. If an AI's break oh shit. If an AI's breaking point disappears, it should struggle to break until it finds a new one. That's what would happen in real life, so Realism people <laughs> Alright, here we go. HKS Mitsubishi Around the Nissan Speedway, even though it's... I don't understand why they didn't call this the Nissan Speedway. Infield. Like this, the rest of this is Sunset Peninsula. The only thing that's Nissan in this game is that outside ring. Which makes no sense. 
It is what it is, though, I guess. So yeah, I'm probably only going to get three episodes done today. Yo, Hans, what up? How are you today? Welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day. Hans, question. Is the lighting looking a little bit better today? On the webcam. 15 heist repeats at GTA Online before patch comes out. Jesus Christ. That's the one thing I hate about GTA Online is just it's all about grinding unless you pay into the game. And it's just like, well, that's not fun. You shouldn't have to pay into the game to be able to experience a game. And I shouldn't have to grind my ass off to be able to experience a small portion of the game. That's why whenever I look at, like, giving opinions on games, I look at it from a perspective of no microtransactions. So if I have to pay to enjoy stuff, no, it's not a good game. One heist took me like seven minutes. That's not too bad. It's still annoying though that GTA has that sort of, it's not pay to win, but it's pay to experience. Pay... I mean, I suppose pay to experience makes sense, but it's like, you have this feature of a game that you've already paid for, but you've got to pay a substantial amount for each thing. It's like that since it was released. Yeah. I mean, I have never in my life bought a shark card. I never will do. But it's the sole reason why I can't play GTA Online, because I just do not want to sit down and grind my ass off. I can see that's enough for me. That's good. Yeah, so I've upgraded to um, an LED strips. Uh, I got given it by... <laughs> Fucking hell. What was that noise? <laughs> I got given it by um, an old friend. I gave him power supply to my old Logitech wheel so that he could use it. They are RGB, so I can change the colours, but they're really good. Obviously, the colours don't come across that well. I mean, the light level's going down outside, so you can sort of see the lights more. But, obviously, when it comes to being in front of the camera, it's better to have a light source in front and a light source behind that's lighting up the room. Because if you have a light in front of you... Your face is illuminated like crazy, but your background is, you know, pretty dark. Which, I mean, I've got pretty much a green screen in the background now anyways, but it's besides the point. It's still, you know, it's like silhouette. If you've got a bright light behind you, you look extremely dark. If you've got a bright light in front of you, but nothing behind, you look extremely pale. So, it's pretty much balanced out, the light that it actually looks somewhat normal. Obviously, it's a little bit bluey because LED lights have a blue hint to them. It's very rare to get, like... It, it costs a lot of money for, like, proper full-on, like, white LEDs. But, yeah, it looks really good, and I think it's a nice improvement. Because I, I used to have LED lights, and it looked good on the stream, but then when I moved my setup, we had to get rid of them. And I never put them back up. I threw them out, because I was an idiot. So I got a new set. Courtesy of, uh, my good friend, Jared. Woo! That was close. Yeah, save a bit of electricity as well. Because before, I've, I've got three massive light bulbs in my roof. Uh, Kate, what is up? Welcome. How are you today? 
Oh uh, yeah, I got three giant ass light bulbs in my roof. But what's even worse is the lights, they're in a position where it will never light up the front of my face. So it is like a silhouette situation where it's like the backdrop is brighter than what's being shined in front and it just messes with the lighting. So yeah, now it's coming from all directions pretty much. Except from this side. But there's a giant ass wardrobe there so none of the light would have got through anyways. Hey, good to hear, Kate. Good to hear. <laughs> Chemical strains. Chemical reactions. By the way, this uh, ad... It's not one direction anymore. It's two direction, because they split. Actually, how many left one direction in the end? Didn't two of them quit or something? Oh, fuck. Bop. Ah, oh, shit. Car very brokey. Me no likey. Chemical reactions. Chemical restraints. Yeah, chemical reactions. So yeah, we're 24 followers away from gifting three subs to the chat. And also two subs away from gifting... That's up to the stream. Smoke means extra boost. Yes, that is the boost. Can I get a high, yeah? Chemical reactions. Chemical restraints. Yeah, chemical reactions. Chemical reactions. I love this song. Chemical reactions. <laughs> His car's just horrendously sluggish now. But then again, it kind of makes sense because the engine's gone, the flywheel's gone. So that means basically it doesn't hold its speed as well. The differential's gone, so I don't even know what that fucks up, but it fucks something up. The gearbox is gone, so shifting is a pain in the ass. Half of me brakes are gone, and me suspension's knackered. So we finna be fucked. <laughs> the differential's locked. Oh no! Thank you for the posture check. Stay alert. Is this a uh, P money? No. No, it's not P money. He's <laughs> shiny text. <laughs> You're very funny. Stay alert. 
say look. Bad. Oh, there we go. That's it. Done. Woohoo! We got 11 people watching at the moment, which is crazy. Welcome, people. Hopefully, you're enjoying. And uh, if you are, feel free to share the stream, share the content. Yo, Orbit, what's up? Welcome back. How are you today? Um, okay, so... There we go, that's the Rissi Competizione MC12 result. Fuck yeah, let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>